dear students welcome to excellence point classes students we have already finished with exercise number 3.2 in the previous class and in this class we will start with exercise number 3.3 so without wasting any time let's begin students question number one is very easy which is an observation type question you will see the graph over there and we have to identify the following question based on this graph now see it which is the most popular pet among them so the solution you will see that cats are the highest one so we can say that cats are the most favorite this is the first answer then second question is asking how many students have dogs as a pet now observe it dogs are there now how many are there so eight are there so we can say that eight students eight students will be our answer so we have finished with the first question then second. since question number two is similar as question number one but you have to use your ruler yes now see here how many books were sold in the following year so first it is asking about 1989 so just put the ruler on this and you will observe that it is less than 200 but it is greater than 150 so we can assume the middle most so we can say that over 175 books over 175 books were sold this year now it is asking about 1990 so now just put the ruler over here and you will observe that it is less than 500 but greater than 450 so we can say that 475 books so 475 books were sold in the year 1990 now next it is asking about 1992 so 1992 you will observe that it is greater than 200 but it is less than 250 so we can say that it will be equal to 220 so 1992 will be equal to 225 books and we have done it now see in which year about 475 books were sold so we have already seen that 475 books were sold in the year 1990 so we will write for 475 books which year 1990 is the answer and 225 books so for 225 books year 1992 will be the answer so for 225 books year 1992 will be the answer okay next in which year were fewer less than 250 books so we have to find less than 250 books fewer means a less so we have already seen that in year 1992 225 books are sold which is fewer than 250 so we can say that year year 1992 will be our answer and the last one is can you estimate how you will identify the number of books in 1989 yes why because we have seen that it is 175 it is it is less than less than 200 but greater than 150 but greater greater than 150 so we can say that it will be in between so we have answered it 175 you can take the screenshot and you can pause it and you can see the question once more and then we will start with question number Third. students in question number three you will observe a table is there and based on this table we have to draw the graph first so take your pencil graph paper eraser and ruler and start it
we have completed it now you will observe the following points that number of student and class should be always written to the graph and the scale of the graph should be always written on the top that things you have to remember now see how would you choose a scale for the graph now based on the number of observation we can choose on the graph so solution will be based on based on the given data the given data we can choose the graph we can also take the graph according to our requirement we can also take 5 as a scale but in this graph i have choose 10 as a scale because the space was not there okay so you can choose the the scale according to your requirements now see which class has the maximum number of students so maximum you can identify in class fifth so fifth class will having 135 students which will be the maximum another question it is asking that which class is having the minimum number of students so class 10th which is having how many 80 students will be the minimum for that now we have to find the ratio of class 6 student to class 8 student so 6 divided by 8 so 6 is having how many 120 divided by 8 is having 100 so divide by 100 we can cancel these zeros now 2 6 and 2 5 are so we can say that 6 upon 5 or 6 ratio 5 will be our final answer now we will proceed to what question number four. students question number four is a little bit changed now you have to draw a double bar graph for that and a double bar graph question may come in four marks now see here first i am drawing graph and then we will answer the following question okay <laughs> And we have done it now you will see the graph and based on this we have to answer the following question now in which subject has the child improved the most so you will see the most improvement in which subject yes it's maths so we can answer it maths now in which subject the improvement is least means the child has improved but it's very less so the gap between this is two so we can say that in SST or we can say that okay so in sst the child has improved the least so we can say that sst will be the answer now has the performance gone down in any of the subject means term 2 is less than term 1 so yes the answer will be hindi okay and we have finished with all the questions now we can start with the next question students in question number five you will see that a data is there which is about sport so first of all we have to draw a double bar graph so when you will all draw the double bar graph it will look like this now what do you infer from it what we will get the information about so the answer is we will get the information about the sports we will get info about 
स्पोर्ट्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्पोर्ट्स सो एज यूजल द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्पोर्ट्स इज क्रिकेट सो वी विल राइट क्रिकेट and for the third one which will be the most preferred which will be the most preferred watching or participating so as usual we can see that watching is most preferred so we will write here watching and the question is finished now we will start with the last question question number 6 students question number 6 is the last question you will observe a table is there which is 3.1 and based on this first step is there we have to draw a double bar graph so when you will draw the double bar graph it will look like this now you will observe that the hottest and the coldest temperatures are given which means the maximum and the minimum temperatures of the cities now based on this we have to answer some questions so let us start with the questions students so question number 1 says in which city we are having the highest difference between the maximum and the minimum temperature so the highest difference you will see observe in jammu so the final answer will be here jammu now in the second question which is the hottest and the coldest so the hottest will you will observe here which is jammu so we will write the answer here jammu similarly for the coldest we will say here 21 degree celsius which is of bangalore so we will write here answer will be bangalore now the next one is name the two cities which is having the maximum temperature is one less than the minimum temperature of the other so when you will observe this ahmedabad and bangalore so you will see that 28 and 29 so 29 minus 28 will give you one the minimum temperature means the coldest minus hottest should give you one so the answer will be bangalore and ahmedabad also you will observe for bangalore and jaipur bangalore and jaipur why bangalore and jaipur see 28 degree celsius and again 29 degree celsius for jaipur now the city which is at the least difference between the maximum and the minimum temperature so 5 degree celsius is the least difference in mumbai so we will write the final answer is Mumbai I hope so you all have liked the video and share it as much as possible if you are new to the channel then do subscribe and press the bell icon I will see you in the next video then thank you and have a nice day